quarantine, many of us are very bored. So, some of us decide to become fit or do something more productive, like learning a new skill. So during my quarantine, I decided I wanted to buy myself a bike. I spent some time researching on what bike I wanted based on the price, the type of the bike, and condition. If you don't know how to buy a bike on Craigslist, make sure to check out this video. After spending some time looking at bikes, I found this listing. It was a 2011 Marin Lucas Valley. So I decided to call him and take a look at the bike. We ended up making a deal and I paid $250. The frame is a 22 inch 3X edge triple butted aluminum frame. To my surprise, the frame is very clean with barely any scratches or dents. And FYI, butted tubing is when the tubing near the joints have increased their thickness while keeping the weight low with thinner material elsewhere. So triple butted means it has three different thicknesses. The gears are a 9-speed Shimano Alveo. Shimano is a really good company and they've been around since the 1920s. They make really good bike parts. The thing that gears do is that they enable us to maintain a comfortable pedaling speed regardless of the gradient or terrain. Although the gears are a little worn now, they will occasionally skip a shift or two. The brakes are Tektro V-Brakes. V-Brakes are also known as linear pull brakes. They are great in braking in dry, wet, and muddy conditions. The longer brake arms of this brake provide more leverage for the rider, making them more powerful than most brakes. Although Tektro brakes don't attract a lot of attention, they're fairly comparable to Shimano gear in terms of reliability and power. Not only that, they aren't worn out and they work pretty well considering how old they are. Another big win is that the forks are made out of carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is a very sturdy material. It is significantly lighter than aluminum, steel, and titanium. This lower density also means carbon fiber does a better job of absorbing road vibrations which makes a more comfortable ride. Now that we've went through the different parts of the bike, let's take a look at the sides. The Martin Lucas Valley has a 22 inch frame. This size is a little too big for me considering that I'm only 5'3". Although the bike is a little too big, I can manage to bike around by putting in just a little more effort. This bike might be a little over 9 years old, but performs at its very peak. Despite having a few flaws, the Mar and Lucas Valley has a lot of cool features that can't compete in the same price range. And I don't think I regret purchasing the Mar and Lucas Valley for $250. And that concludes our review on the Mar and Lucas Valley. Thank you for watching and see you next time.